Out of the ordinary archaeological discoveries for 2022, numerous archaeological finds are there in 2022, including ancient gloves, a Viking cave system to the new human species, shedding light on the lives of early period. Today's video will discuss some out of the ordinary archaeological discoveries for 2022. Watch the video to the end and subscribe for more such uploads. French archaeologists discovered the long lost remains of a 2,100-year-old Gallo-Roman worship complex on a hilltop with sweeping views of the Flume Valley in Rennes, Brittany. In the first century BC, the Rennes Gallo-Roman religious center was built after the Roman conquest of the Gauls in France. It had two temples, one possibly dedicated to the Roman god Mars. Recently, many metal artifacts have been discovered at the site, including the remains of two temple structures and a bath. As per archaeologists, the Roman complex was in function as a religious center until the 4th century AD. This date commemorates the fall of the Western Roman Empire, and that's not it. It also instigates the rise of Christianity as a religious organization that supplanted Roman religious practices in Rome and Gauls. The site was discovered for development, which resulted in more than 17.3 acres of preventative archaeological excavations. As a result, this ancient holy site immerses you in the daily life of an important Roman house of worship. This Roman worship site was the focal point of ancient public life and was considered essential. Most importantly, it aids archaeologists in understanding how the local population assimilated to Roman religion, order, and social practices. According to scientific experts, an exquisite as well as an exotic-looking bronze statue was excavated from the San John Wee site in Sin John province of Gong Gan. It is speculated that it may offer tantalizing clues for decoding the mysterious religious rituals surrounding the famous 3,000-year-old archaeological place. A human figure with a body resembling a serpent, as well as a ritual vessel known as a zun on its head, was discovered at San John Wee's number 8 sacrificial pit. In addition, archaeologists confirmed that another artifact discovered decades ago is a broken piece of the newly discovered one. One piece of this statue, depicting a man's curving lower body and a pair of bird's feet, was discovered in the nearby number two pit in 1986. The third component of the statue, a pair of hands holding a vessel known as a lee, was also recently discovered in the number eight pit. The parts finally reunited after three millennia of separation and formed an entire body resembling an acrobat. Also, Two pits full of strange bronze artifacts were discovered that were used in sacrificial ceremonies, making this discovery the biggest ever in the 20th century. Some experts say that the artifacts were smashed before being used in sacrifices by the Shu people. After years of searching, a massive crater left by one of the largest known meteorites to strike Earth may have been discovered in Laos. Scientists have known for decades that a two-kilometer wide meteorite crashed in the Earth nearly 800,000 years ago, but the precise location of where it landed has remained a mystery. According to a new research paper, there is strong evidence that the crater may lie beneath lava in the 910 cubic kilometer area of a volcanic field in Laos, Southeast Asia. The hidden impact crater is about 13 kilometers wide and 17 kilometers long. Surprisingly, a group of small black glassy objects known as tektites led researchers to the impact site, which scientists believe were formed from earth material melted due to the meteorite's impact. Tektites, ranging in age from 750,000 to 35.5 million years old, have been discovered on every continent except Antarctica and areas known as Stoon Fields. The presence of the objects indicate that the meteorites was so massive with a fast velocity that it could melt the rocks hidden by it. Another ancient find, Roman boxing gloves were discovered during an excavation near Hadrain's Wall. They were somehow the only known surviving examples from the Roman period, and this is not something we are saying. The experts at Vindolanda, near Hexham, predicted this. The leather bands were described as amazing. They are made of leather and are designed to fit snugly over the knuckles, giving the appearance of a protective guard. The massive of the two is made of natural material, and would have served as a shock absorber. The smaller glove, discovered in near-perfect condition, is made of coil of hard, twisted leather, 
Because they lacked the metal inserts used in ancient boxing bouts, it is assumed they were used for sparring sessions. As a prolonged drought gripped most of the area of Europe, ancient stones bearing dire warnings have resurfaced. Stones lining dried up riverbeds were marked centuries ago to warn future generations that their exposure meant famine was on the way. Several European rivers, including the Rhine, Elbe, and West, have hunger stones, which bear ominous warnings for those unlucky enough to come across them. This year, one stone appeared on the Elbe Riverbank in the Czech Republic town of Dessin. It was recently discovered by a German journalist and bore the inscription, If you see me, cry. Some markings also date back to the 15th century, and the Dessin stone commemorates at least 12 droughts spanning 600 years. According to researchers, Europe's current drought could be the worst in 500 years. The drought is expected to affect 47% of Europe, and industries are expected to suffer as the continent's great rivers become depleted, also affecting transportation. A skull preserved for around 140,000 years or more in northeastern China represents a new species of ancient people more closely related to us than even Neanderthals. This discovery will surely help discoveries alter our understanding of human evolution. It belonged to a large brain, 50-year-old man with deep-set eyes and thick brow ridges. His face was wide, but he had flat, low cheekbones that made him appear more like today's modern people than other extinct members of the human family tree. The researchers also linked the specimen to other Chinese fossil discoveries and have named the species Dragon Man after the region it was discovered. The name originally was inspired by the Long Jing, which means Dragon River. The Harbin skull was discovered in 1933 in the same city, but it was allegedly hidden in a well for over 85 years to protect it from the Japanese army. It was eventually discovered and handed over to Ji Qing, a professor at Habai GEO University in 2018. According to their findings, the Harbin group is more closely related to Homo sapiens than Neanderthals. That is, Harbin shared a more recent common ancestor with us than the Neanderthals. So this would make Dragon Man our sister species and a closer ancestor to modern man than the Neanderthals. The skull is suspected to be around 146,000 years old. While it exhibits typical arch and human features, the Harbin skull exhibits a mosaic combination of primitive as well as derived characters distinguishing it from all of the previously known Homo sapiens. Dragon Man most likely lived as part of a small community and a forested floodplain. This population would have been hunter-gatherers who lived off the land. Also, as per today's winter temperatures in Harbin, they were dealing with even harsher cold temperatures than the Neanderthals. Given the location of the skull and the large-sized man it implies, the team believes Dragon Man was well adapted for harsh environments and could have dispersed throughout Asia. The skull was first studied, with researchers identifying over 600 traits that were then fed within a computer model running millions of simulations to determine the evolutionary history as well as the relationship between different species. These findings suggest that Harbin and other Chinese fossils, along with Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, form a third lineage of later humans. Several human species coexisted in Eurasia and Africa more than 100,000 years ago, including Neanderthals and Denisovans. Dragon Man could be added to that list now. Another possibility is that Dragon Man and Denisovans are the same species. However, scientists are unsure what Denisovans look like because the fossils attributed to them include teeth and bone, but not a full skull. However, Neanderthals and Denisovans were genetically closer to each other than sapiens, and a new study suggests that Dragon Man was more anatomically similar to us than Neanderthals. As a result, future genetic sequencing may be required to help clear up the remaining uncertainty. What do you think of these archaeological discoveries? Let us know your views in the comments below.